All right, hey guys, so today we have our second box of 2021 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. Of course, we're chasing the Lafreniere Young Guns. Um, I'll quickly just show the odds here. I did already do a video where I went, covered everything for a couple of minutes, covered all the inserts, covered everything that you need to know about the product. So, uh, but basically we are getting six Young Guns per box and that's the chase. Of course, we do have an overtime pack, so we will do that first. Trying out a new angle for the camera. It's kind of a little higher, but we'll see how it goes for this video. Actually, I didn't check about the overtime. Is if there's any uh, inserts in here? It does say gold foil auto parallel one in ninety packs. So that's pretty tough. And gold foil, yeah. So one in sixty. So I guess the 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 most common auto you can get in here is one in sixty. All right, we have Neil Pionk. Morgan Geeky Rookies, that's kind of cool. Braden Point, and Center of Excellence, Sean Monahan. All right, so now it's time to crack into our box of Series 1. Again, we have our Synergy, whatever this thing is called, Cast for Greatness Bounty Program. Not sure if I'm gonna open Synergy. I think it comes out um, a day before my birthday, which is the 26th. But again, it's not really, it's not really a spectacular product, so I'm not sure if that's something that I want to do. But anyways, let's put this box to the side here with the other one, and let's begin. So we'll start from the right stack and hoping we can pull something good. All right, the uh, camera was kind of not focusing properly, so decided to change it up a little bit. Anyways, let's get into the first pack. As always, 24 packs a box and eight cards per pack. These are the base cards if you haven't seen them before. I said they're kind of like a, an artifacts looking card. Um, kind of classy, kind of nice. And they do have this uh, black nameplate with a lot of silver foil, so it kind of looks like, again, just kind of classy. Nice card. Um, then we have Darnell Nurse, Alex Kerfoot, and here's our first insert, UD Portraits of Pierre-Luc Dubois, John Carlson, Alex Kalorn, Mike Riley, and Oliver Bjorkstrand. All right, now we have Nazem Kadri, Nikolai Ehlers, Artem Anisimov, Blake Coleman, and we have another young gun, our first of the box actually, of Ryan McLeod. So that's Ryan McLeod, Jordan Bennington, Brandon Carlo, and the Series 1 checklist of Pasta and Ovi. One thing I did hear about this product was that um, the local stores around me had limits from uh, depending on the store, one to four boxes a person, as UD kind of restricted how much they were shipping this week. And I think that's kind of a little bit of a dick move, as uh, when they, you know, ship the rest next week, they can kind of inflate the price, and I think that's what's going to happen. So I think already by next week or the next shipment, the prices are going to go up for this stuff. Marcus Johansson, Dylan Strom, Adam Fox, and we have a Nikita Kucherov, UD Canvas, so it looks like him in his practice jersey. Tanner Pearson. Zach Parise, Evgeny Malkin, and Dougie Hamilton. And again, the photography is always awesome with Series 1. The cards look very sharp, and uh, it's just kind of an interesting, uh, instead of just your normal casual base card, it's, it's more interesting to see the colors. All right, we have Tyler Sagan, Braden Point, Jake Gensel, Alex Ovechkin, awesome shot there. And we have a debut dates of, who is this? Adam Boquist, November 2nd, 2019. Again, a bunch of zeros on the board in his debut. Boone Jenner, Ryan Suter, and Charlie McAvoy. And if you haven't checked out my first break, make sure to do so. I'll put it in the top right corner. That was on release day. We have a very, very dinged up corner here of Blake Wheeler. Again, I'm not really sure if I'm doing that, but I don't think so. Typically, I don't do that. All right, then we have John Klingberg, Dmitry Orlov, 
Braden Shen, Colton Pareko, Artem Anisimov, Danton Heinen, and Zach Sanford. Just for an update, after filming, I did realize that I missed a French variation or variant Francais, as it says right there on the card. Looks exactly the same as a, as a regular card, and you can't tell because the name is obviously going to be whatever the name is. But uh, the back here, you can see it's all in French. So even the description, even the team names, uh, I guess those are the same. Everything's in French. So uh, these are one per 30 packs and I did miss one of my first box as well. So I'll try to look out for that as we go along with the rest of the breaks. All right, moving along, last pack of that right stack. Packs are also kind of a little tougher to open. They're very uh, thick. I'll say like the, the foil is quite thick. All right, we have Adrian Kempe, John Marino, Riley Smith, and one of these new dominant inserts, or sorry, predominant, predominant of Mark Stone. Uh, Timo Meyer, Mark Stahl, David Pasternak, and Bo Horvat. All right, continuing on from this uh, stack, second stack from the right. All right, looks like we have a portrait hiding in there. So Evander Kane, Igor Shosturkin, John Moore, Brock Besser, uh, portraits of Kale Makar, that's kind of nice. The design is definitely growing on me. Jeff Petrie, Josh Manson, and Carter Hutton. Yeah, I didn't like the, uh, I remember one of the 15, 16, I didn't really like, 17, 18. Last year, I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, this year is a little bit better. Looks like we have a Young Guns in there. All right, we have Alex Tuck, Victor Hedman, Bobby Ryan, and Gabe Velarde, young gun. So that's a pretty good one there, Gabe Velarde. I, I don't know too much about him. I've just heard a lot of people talking about his name. And of course, he did get seven points in 10 games there for the Kings last year, so Gabe Velarde. Uh, Neil Pionk, Jordan Eberle, Eric Carlson, and Philip Ronick. So that is a good young guns there. Next up, we have Nathan McKinnon, uh, Mark Edward Vlasic, Patrice Bergeron, the checklist, the other one there with McKinnon and uh, Panarin, Leon Dreisaitl, UD Canvas, awesome shot there, UD Canvas, uh, Jonathan Marcheseau, Duncan Keith, and Vincent Trocek. One thing I do want to say is that uh, if you follow my Tim Hortons breaks, I really like those Tim Hortons canvas cards. They were kind of like thicker and more um, more canvas-like than these ones, which these ones just seem a little bit thinner. So I wish they would kind of do the same for these canvas cards, but maybe it's more expensive. Uh, Tyler Myers, Kevin Fiala, Chris Letang, predominant of David Pasternak, Miko Koskinen, Jakob Silverberg, Matt Duchesne, and Aaron Ekblad. Moving on, we've got Toivo Teravainen, UC Saros, a Hockey Fights Cancer jersey there, and another UD game jersey, this time of Brett Connolly, so plain red swatch there. It is nice to pull the jersey cards, but I've said before, they're just not worth very much and they're not very desirable hits. Uh, Mika Zabanajad, Alexander Radulov, and Blake Lazat. I believe there are also patch versions of those, but those are extremely hard to find. You almost never see them uh, pulled, let alone for sale. All right, something is in here. John Tavares, John Gibson, David Perron, Mark Scheifele, and one of those NHL Worldwide of Henrik Lundqvist, Sweden, still in his Rangers uniform though. Anders Lee, Alexander Wenberg, and Martin Natchez. I guess that's one of those cards that'll probably be updated for SPA. Um, for the SBA base set upper deck update when that comes out. Probably next year, as always. Still waiting on four young guns. Matthew Perot, Pavel Zaka, Jason Zucker, and here we have a rookie retrospective of Elvis Merzlikens. So, see his rookie rankings there, tied for third, and uh, 
The save percentage was fourth, tied for third in wins. Rookie retrospective, haven't seen this one yet, so that's a cool looking insert of a pretty good rookie from last year. Ben Bishop, David Riddick, Miles Wood, and Franz Nielsen. All right, so now we've got two stacks to go, so we're halfway through the box, I believe. Um, or maybe not, actually. I think we're over halfway through. So we have Jonathan Bernier. Hey, there's a nice PC card for me. I do collect Bernier as well. William Carlson, Alex Dabrinkit, and we have a Young Guns canvas of Jake Ottinger. So that's kind of nice there. We, it looks like we've got a seventh Young Gun in this box because the canvas ones are extra. They don't count towards your total. So that's nice there to pull Jake Ottinger. Happy with that. Uh, Philip Grubauer doing the splits. Kasperi Kapanen, Essa Lindell, and TJ Oshie. All right, next up we have Brady Shea, Oscar Clefbaum, Ricard Raquel, Shea Weber, and holy crap, guys, there he is. Out of the blue, it just caught me by surprise. I saw it, I kind of was uh, stunned a little bit, but there it is. May as well stop the break now. I'm joking, but wow, guys, there it is. Alexi Lafreniere Young Guns. Wow. Number 201. Card looks to be in pretty good shape. That corner is probably not a, a perfect one up there. It'll ever focus. Uh, it's not. It's not bad. There it is, guys. Alexi Lafreniere, the big one that everyone's hunting down. I was considering buying it. Went for my boxes instead, and I'm very glad I did. Uh, Alexi Lafreniere, there you can see, put up 297 points in 173 games for Ramuski. And look at that, guys. Alexi Lafreniere, young guns. That's gonna have to go straight into a one touch at the end of the video. Um, I don't like doing it in the middle of the video, just kind of ruins the vibe for me, but wow, guys, can't stop looking at it. I mean, I've heard many criticisms over the picture that it doesn't have his number. Um, it's kind of oddly photoshopped. It doesn't look very good, but um, I mean, it's the only card he has, so we kind of have to deal with it. And there it is. Unbelievable. We have got him. And I'll, I'll try to throw up a value on screen of what he's going for right now, but I think it was like over $500 Canadian, so that's amazing. And that kind of pays for all my four boxes right there. Wow, that's amazing, guys. Let's go, Alexi Lafreniere. Other two base cards are Robert Thomas, Ryan O'Reilly, and Anze Kopitar. So I said at the beginning of my breaks, um, as long as I got him, I'd be happy, so I am happy. Now the uh, objective would be to pull a hobby exclusive, which we haven't hit yet. Nikita Gusev, Quinn Hughes, Jacob Truba, Joe Pavelski, and one of these dazzlers of Max Pacioretty. Now I actually don't know if this is a hobby exclusive or if this is a hobby exclusive, so my bad for that, but I'm not sure. Brandon Saad, Tomasz Tatar, and Travis Sanheim. But whether or not they are, they're not exactly like, you know, highly valuable cards, I don't think. Let me know if I'm wrong on that Elvis, because I did not get one of those in my first box. All right, now we've got Alex Iafalo, Nick Letty, Elvis Merzlikens, and Martin Kaut, another good Young Guns. I think this guy is actually pretty good. Again, I'm not really familiar with the, with the new rookie class, unfortunately. I was big on 1920. I learned all about those guys, but I'm not sure about the new guys. But there's Martin Kaut. I've heard some good things about him. So this is shaping up to be an incredible box so far with some awesome Young Guns. Um, finishing off the base cards here, we have Michael Backlund, Alexander Barkov, Travis Konechny, and James Neal. So yeah, guys, amazing box so far. We have a canvas young gun. We have Velarde, Kout, and Lafreniere. And we still have, I think, two more young guns to go in our stacks of packs here. All right, Peter Mrazek, awesome pads there. Brendan Gallagher, Hampus Lindholm, Jack Eichel. And we'll take things easy here with a Ryan O'Reilly UD Portraits. Plain old insert. Jonathan Drouin, Anthony D'Angelo, and Callie Yarncrock. All right, so now we've got our final stack of six packs. Again, hoping for a hobby exclusive. I haven't seen an exclusive in here. Haven't seen a clear cut. 
But uh, I guess I can't complain too much, honestly, guys. I got the Laffy. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Uh, Ivan Provorov, Rasmus Ristolainen, Noel Achari, Josh Norris, UD Portraits Rookies. There's a rookie one. So it's the exact same design as the regular. It's just a rookie. I don't see any difference except for the black space is empty there. Noah Hannafin, Carter Hart, Christian Dvorak, and Jean-Gabriel Pajot. So with our final five packs, we should be expecting two young guns. The only one I actually want really badly is Pavel Francouz. Um, I don't know what that is. Something red? Maybe one of those all-world inserts? Kevin A's, Connor McDavid, Philip Deneau, Semyon Varlamov, and yep, there's an NHL Worldwide of Alexander Ovechkin. I do like those inserts a lot. They look very cool. Nikita Zaitsev, Lars Eller, and Morgan Riley. All right, we're coming down to the wire here. Almost done. We have Rocco Grimaldi, Zach Wierenski, Elias Lindholm, P.K. Subban, and a UD canvas of Sam Steele up close and personal with him there. Cool card there, Sam Steele. Uh, Frank Petrano, Nate Schmidt, and Alex Goligoski. So it looks like in all my breaks, we've been leaving Young Guns right to the end. And this is seemingly no different. Looks like we're leaving them all right to the end because there's not one in here. Matthew Tuchuk with some interesting blurred out teammates. Nick Felino. Oh, and we have a jersey. Wow, what a box. Wow, I didn't know these existed. Debut dates jersey of John Marino. So October 8th. 2019 was his debut against zeros across the board, but debut dates Jersey. Wow. So let me check real quick what the odds are on that bad boy because I've never seen that before. So I paused the video to take a quicker look myself off the camera because I can't really see you that well through the camera. But if you can see here, debut dates um, Jersey parallel, one in 432. So that's like gotta be one in two cases or something. So. That's ridiculous. Um, we'll finish off the pack with Jonas Donskoy, Darcy Kemper, and Martin Jones. So that's a ridiculous pull. Like, that's a ridiculously hard pull. Like, you're not going to see very many of those. Unfortunately, I mean, it's John Marino. I don't know how much it's worth or anything like that. Um, but it is cool to pull such a rare pull. And this is literally the best box ever. Wow. Two jerseys, all those awesome young guns, and of course, Lafreniere. What else can we possibly get in here? We still have two young guns left. So we have Jared Spurgeon, Charlie Coyle, Connor Murphy, Nick Suzuki, and Lucas Carlson, Young Guns. Lucas Carlson on the Blackhawks, Philip Forsberg, Rasmus Dahlin, and Drew Doughty. All right, final pack. We should be expecting Young Guns. One last one in here. If it's Pavel Francouz, I'm gonna lose it because that's the last card I really want right now. And then I'll be like, Super stoked. So there's our young gun. You can see the glue. Dylan Larkin, Samuel Gerard, Zach Hyman. And it is a goalie, but not Francois. It's Artem Zagadulin from the Calgary Flames. I'm a big goalie guy. I love goalies. I've never heard of this man in my life. He did have some uh, iffy numbers for Stockton in the AHL. 898 save percentage, but good wins there. Might have been a good team. Uh, Zach Cassian, Kirby Doc. Will Butcher, and Thatcher Demko. All right, guys, so here is the recap of my box. I honestly think it was the best box I've ever seen of this stuff so far. Um, barring like a, I don't know, like a crazy patch or something, this was an insane box. Um, everything kind of worked out right. We got two jersey cards, including this one in 432 of John Marino. These are all your standard inserts here. Couple canvas, that was the overtime stuff. There's a Dazzler. There's another debut date. There's some portraits. We did get this rookie retrospective, which is one in 27. I did check that out. We got seven young guns, including Martin Kaut, Gabe Velarde, a, a canvas young gun of Jake Ottinger, and this Alexi Lafreniere young guns. So we got, we got that in the one touch now. Beautiful card. Now it can join the other big boys in the back there. But what a nice card that is. Alexi Lafreniere, card number 201. We got him, guys. We got them. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more UD Series 1 stuff, as well as hockey card breaks. I do have two more boxes left to go.
So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.